In this video, I'm going to share what I believe will be the most common error with the XLOOKUP formula. I shared this in a previous video on XLOOKUP Explained. I'll put a link to that in the description below. So you might have seen this before, but I'm going to go into a bit more detail on this error and how to fix it. So in this example here, I'm first just going to type a quick XLOOKUP formula. So we'll tab into that, select the lookup value. I'll arrow over here, hit Control Shift down arrow to select the entire column, F4 on the keyboard to make an absolute reference, uh, comma, then uh, Control Shift down arrow again, F4, and hit Enter. And you can see I get this pound value error. So why is that? Well, the reason we're getting this is because my lookup array and my return array are not the same length. They're not the same number of cells. As you can see here, my lookup array goes down to cell 1003, where my return array goes down to cell 1002. And the reason that happens is because I was using the keyboard shortcut control shift down arrow. And in this case here, if we jump to the bottom of this table, you can see that the last cell here is blank in this column. And therefore control shift down arrow did not select all the way down to the bottom here. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video on XLOOKUP shortcuts, uh, check that out as well. After this video, I explain how to write the formula I just did so quickly and some alternative techniques as well. So we, before we jump to a solution for this, I also want to share one other possible error that you might encounter. And that's what I call the absolute reference error. So another error with XLOOKUP here, in this case, I'm going to type my XLOOKUP formula, tab into that, again, to select the lookup value. Here, I'll uh, hit Control Shift down, comma, I'll go over to the right, hit Control Shift down again, F4, and hit Enter. And right now, this looks good. It's returning a value. If I hit, uh, double click the fill handle, Everything looks good here, but you can see I'm getting some probably what are incorrect results because there's some duplicate values here. And the reason is in this case with this formula, I forgot to make the first reference, the lookup array reference, an absolute reference. I forgot to hit F4 there. So I have a, a relative reference here for the lookup array and I have an absolute reference for the return array. And this could happen either way. You might have an absolute reference for the lookup array and a relative for the return array. Either way, as you can see, it's going to return the incorrect results because the lookup array and the return array are not aligned. Now, you can use this in certain techniques uh, with XLOOKUP, but the majority of the time you're not going to want this behavior and it's going to give you incorrect results. So one way to solve this is using an Excel table. On this next uh, sheet over here, we'll jump over to the next sheet. And again, I have the same setup here. And what I wanna do is make my lookup table an Excel table. Now there's a few ways to insert an Excel table. You can hit Control T on the keyboard, go to the Insert tab, or we can just go to the Home tab here and format as table. I'll just choose the same uh, style here, this gray color, and hit OK. And now we have an Excel table. And now with my uh, XLOOKUP, we'll again type the same XLOOKUP formula. We'll use the same lookup value, type a comma. But here I can either hover the mouse over the top half of the cell here until my uh, mouse cursor turns into a down arrow and left click. That'll select the entire column here, as you can see. And it also makes reference to the entire column uh, and you'll see the column name there. Now you can also turn off the table formulas. I have a separate video on that. And then you would get the uh, range reference here, which would be E4 to E1003. Then you'd hit F4 on the keyboard, but you could still make that selection with the mouse to select all the cells in the column, even if there are blank cells in the column. And there's a keyboard shortcut for that as well. So I'll type a comma here and then we can arrow over or just select any cell inside the email column here. And the keyboard shortcut is control space. So hold control and press space. And that will again make reference to the entire column. We can see it up here in the form of the bar. We now have reference to the entire email column, even if there are blank cells in this column. And then of course we can just hit enter there and that will input our XLOOKUP formula. And again, we can uh, fill down here and those structured references or those table formula references here are absolute by default. So we do not need to hit the F4 key on the keyboard to make these absolute references. They're already absolute references by default as we copy this down, nothing changes and our formula works. So that's really two of the most common errors with writing XLOOKUP, at least I believe it will be. I have no data on this. And the solution there is to use Excel tables. Again, check out my video on XLOOKUP shortcuts if you wanna learn some more shortcuts and techniques for saving time with writing XLOOKUP formulas. If you have any additional uh, questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.